Hey yup, I'm Fu, and this is RimWorld, the Township of Flint. So, this is episode 31, the final episode, or at least the final episode for this month. Well, it is also the last day of the month as well. The point being is this is the end of the challenge. Now, are we continuing, continuing making videos after the 30-day uh, mark? So if you have enjoyed them, um, don't worry, they're not going. Now, let's get back to the game. So we do have to deal with this crash ship, and we have worked out a way. Last time we discovered that uh, grenades work really well against the ship, and we can sneak around and do enough damage. Now, we have to get our defenses up before we can do anything much about um, these guys, because they will be following us back into the base. Without solid defenses, we cannot do anything to stop them once they've come in. So, everyone is currently injured, though not too badly. Which is a good thing now it's just a lot of scratches and those will heal up relatively fast Fu and Christian are the only two doctors but Christian has a, sh a shattered spine which you know must be quite painful I mean it says little pain but I can expect to be a bit more than that now Beryl can't um, doctor so it kind of sucks but uh, it's something now I also realize they're sleeping in the same bed and that probably gives them the disturbed sleep buff Let's see, I'm going to take this one's medical just so we have the third one. And see if Fu, Fu will move into a different bed. Let's see. Doesn't look you're naked. Okay, that's something to, to we have to deal with. Pessimist disturbed sleep, yeah. Okay, so maybe Fu, can I recruit you? Move you over here and we'll get you into this bed. Come on, speed up. Rest, until, rest in that bed, excellent. So I don't know if that um, buff is going to go away fast enough. Let's take a look. Disturbed sleep times three. Finishes in 11 hours. Okay, so it didn't. it's not going to go away for tonight, but it does mean that uh, we've dealt with this for now. Let's take a look. Our food is at five meals, which is fine for the time being. It's not much, and we could do definitely with some more, but uh, we'll hold off for the time being. Hmm. Also missing power to this room, which... Now that I see this, or at least I notice it, we're going to get some power up for this room. Now, yeah, there we go. It's always just one or two cables which have gone missing. So once those get done, so what are you doing, Beryl? You're about to break your repairing sandbags. Yes, I guess that's fine. Get the uh, limestone club out of the way and... Also must have accidentally cancelled the, or oh, forbidden the uh, blueprint for that turret. So we'll get those three turrets up and that should definitely help when we kite these guys back into our base. Now I also realised that we need to work on getting more entertainment up. We've only got chess and relaxing socially around a um, sort of ugly table in the dark. And also viewing art, which helps, sort of. Even though it's really poor art by Wittertaker. Now let's see. We should have a no, horseshoe game. We don't have a horseshoe game. Let's get that set back up. So Joy, Granite, I guess we got Granite is the most at the moment. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll we'll place a Granite Horseshoe game out here. Now, Billard's Table, I guess we can make a Granite. Ooh, wow, it's quite a big area we need. You know what, I might hold off from, from this one for the time being. And then Foo, are you awake? You're relaxing socially. I'm going to let you do that. There's way too many moodlets right now for me to sort of change what you're doing. Yeah, you are rest, uh, well, socialising in Christian's medical room. Gonna eat food, that is also fine. Okay, let's get you to build, you're gonna feed, feed Pemmican to Christian, I guess that's fine. Much as I'd rather sell Christian. And you're gonna hold the power conduit. Yep, excellent. Now you're gonna go to the uh, stonecutter's table, that's also fine. Do we have enough wood? We don't have enough wood. Uh, Okay, well, let's take a look. I won't go down to the bottom given oh, given that those uh, space invaders, what are they called? I think drawing mental Blake. These guys. The uh, mechanites, mechanoids. Scyther and the uh, centipede. Won't go down there just for the time being. So we're going to go up here for wood. Um, let's say those, the wood isn't actually as growing as much as I might expect. Uh, oh, 99. How about that? There's a lucky yes. Now, Beryl has gone berserk. Let's jump to the location. You're standing right in the center of the base. Doesn't help. We also need to put this school out of its misery. Now, Fu is sleeping, so that's actually fine. So, Beryl will probably get over this, hopefully. 
Now, also something I discovered as well uh, while I was reading up is that if we exhume the body of Lottie and also Boz and we place it in the sarcophagi, we actually get positive mood buffs. Which, I mean, it's something, considering that we don't actually have much going on for these characters. Ab absorbed uh, rotten corpse. Yeah, well, you're standing right in the middle here, and to be honest, those rotten corpses probably uh, could get dragged down here eventually. You know what? How about if I flag these to not contain corpses? Just because people are standing around and walking past these areas. And, yep, yeah, okay, so that's fine. Beryl. If you use a grenade on Fu, I will be awfully annoyed. Come on, Fu, get through the door. Oh, that was lucky. How badly you hurt? It should only be a few bruises. It is. And you are running away to hide. Beryl. And I hate the fact that every now and then, if we see it, there we go. Slow it down a bit. Beryl pulls out the grenades. Which kind of makes me um, a little nervous. But I don't, I don't think she'll use them. Worst, if we might get a few more bruises. His barrel is just nasty. Are you seriously hiding in there? Okay, that's another place to hide. Okay, barrel has um, barrel's rage has gone, has finally gone. So that's good. Turning to Christian. Yep, that's fine. Now I really do need to get this dealt with. So doors, that's probably the next thing, which means table, which needs means a lot. So for you are consuming pemmican, you're resting. No, you're not. You're gonna cut this tree for me. Come on, any second now. Climb to the top of the map. Takes a bit of time to walk. Wish there was a way that you could provide these um, people with faster transport or larger carrying capacity. Because I could, I figured that might, that could actually be quite useful. I also want you to haul this wood. Thank you. Huh, you left 12 wood behind. Okay. And we have a visitor. Ooh. Someone that's going to trade with us. I guess that's useful if you sell us, uh, say, a sniper rifle, which means we can position someone just around here and snipe these guys from a distance. Which is what I'd prefer to do, but uh, we don't have that luxury at the moment. Now, I also realised as well, because I looked back at some of my older epi my first episode, that I did actually set this to challenging. So, I should stop complaining and deal with it. Okay, so Beryl is up now. How? What's your mood like? You are stressed? And you need more joy. You're getting some joy. Excellent. But is that enough to counteract your mood? No. The the catharsis um, trait does help. But it only lasts for so long, unfortunately. Achieving simple meal. Yep, that's fine. Calling the street treatment. That is also... Oh. Animals are driven, driven mad. So, Beryl, you are sewing area. Nope. Can we get you to talk to the trader? See what he has to provide us. Okay, buffalo meat, bird meat, components, herbal medicine. Well, I will grab the herbal medicine, even though it's two. The price is... Uh, for the item, this is normal. Okay, well, I'll sell it. I'll buy that for that price. The uranium spear. Wow, 3,000. That's a lot. I'm not buying that. But do you have a sniper rifle? It doesn't look like you do. I am selling you pretty much everything. So, how about this? I'll show you some of the clubs. Um, because I don't like clubs. Does mean that someone has to come up close to melee, and he only, well, they only have 82. So we might as well buy maybe a little bit of bird meat. Two units of bird meat. That should be fine. Okay. We get you to also. You're not a hauler, right? Of course you're not a hauler. So come on, I'll we'll get you to haul the bird meat, and then we'll get you to haul the medicine inside. So it does mean that maybe we can make another meal. Now I could probably buy a few more when I think about it. So Fu, you are going to relax socially. You could, but I could also get you to hold this herbal medicine inside. Yeah, that's better. Let's take a look at what our uh, map priorities are set to. So, you know, I might as well set everyone on to everything, given that we only got two people. And I will be prioritizing people, or, well, Micromanaging is a better word to put it. So, Fu, what are you doing? You were going to build a snowman. Yeah, I guess that's that's cool, but I'd also love it if you could work on... <laughs> snowman. Cool. 
you're gonna yeah so you let's take a look at your needs again your, your beauty is what probably what's affecting you most psychic drone is at medium we do need to deal with that and you're wearing tattered apparel what is tattered on your body is it pants yeah pants and we only have one pair of pants around the place pretty sure yeah because i can only see um a t-shirt there so barrel you are uh, carrying steel to the core that's fine and it does look like the uh, stone cutters table just needs a little bit of work after it gets the last bit of wood oh cargo pods jump to location and it's chocolate i guess that's fine we can haul that in whereabouts is it okay cool it's not near the uh these guys now will liarbird get hit it looks like liarbird will Ooh, that was close it could have been bad for you So, now we need to get these three turrets up, the, well, at least, oh, well, it looks like we need to get the bottom door, and the outer wall, and the middle doors, and that's enough doors to hopefully, well, deal with the uh, mess we're in. So let's see, granite door, yeah, I guess because granite is the main block right now, it is. So we'll get you to place that one here. I also cancel probably, oops, this one. Because we don't have, uh, uh, well, there's nothing we can do. Um, because we don't. What am I saying? Because we we don't have uh, the stone cutting set up, and I don't really want someone to work out here with all these bodies. Now I guess I could. Okay, so I have done that already. So these corpses, in theory, would get carried down to here, but they haven't yet, because there's way too many things to do, unfortunately. So that said, let's get the bill set up so maybe when someone gets around to it, they can at least do it. So we want. Yeah, I wish I could hold this. Can I scroll? Can't scroll. Yeah, I'll get around about a thousand. Yeah, there we go. A thousand, and we'll make sure that it's sandstone because that's what you use primarily in our base. That looks fine. Now, we do have some friendlies who have come from Patient Forest to help us. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. So, how many guys is it? It is three characters. They're from the other side of the map. Now, Patient Forest, they weren't uh, Luddites, were they? Can't recall, honestly. Don't know if World will tell us anything. Doesn't look like this is working very well. Hmm. Uh, it seems like there are... Yeah. Okay, so I can't see anything on the map. How about Fractions? Ah, that's better. Patient Forest, 38 enemies of the Red Owners. And the Red Owners are on the map? The Red Owners are. So they're 93 and Hostile. Okay, and the enemies are pretty much everyone. Now, once we get information, yeah. Okay, so food, you're gonna go down, and those uh, people are gonna help us. So that's fine. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I need to mark this door. So it's gonna be a granite door, like I discussed, given that we have enough material about. So what are you doing? You are hauling something. I don't know. Huh. These guys, what are they doing? Can I recruit them? Can I do anything with them? So you guys are just going to wander about the place. Oh, no, you've worked out what to do. Excellent. This is going to be interesting. So there are actually four people. I think I miscounted them. Now, I wish I could help these guys, and it might be best if I got Beryl down here as well. Because this might be my best time. It looks like... Ah. They're fleeing. Well, that lasted long. Never mind. Beryl, uh, don't do that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, everyone died pretty much. Actually, wait, one person survived. That, that didn't work out very well. Hmm. So, what's the fractions like then? 38 still? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, the fractions haven't changed, and that did. Well, I gather that they have taken a little bit more damage. Not much, unfortunately. Now, I won't unflag these to be hauled in because, well, they're not exactly in a safe place right now. And it looks like one of the bodies as well is going to burn. So we'll just have to let that be. Now, the other character has left. Yes. Huh. That didn't bode well. So, Fu, how about this? Can we just get you your meditating? I'm going to let you meditate. You can't work on that because you need materials. Can I get you to stone cut? I can. Excellent. 
I does I do know that you're about to break. You, yeah, you're about to break. And what is it here about your mood, which is about to break? Rotting corpse, psychic drone, pessimist, naked. That's yeah. None of those are good, and I don't. This isn't gonna. Yeah. Tired. Yeah. There's only so much we can do, but if we can get a few more resources, maybe that can help. At the very least, in the short run. Because I know that means you're going to go berserk. Oh, cargo pods. This game being awfully friendly to us. And it is monkey meat. Yay, monkey meat. Where are we at, says it? Top right. That is actually fine. Uh, do we need the meat, though? I guess we can always use the meat. Now, Phil is the only one who can haul because Christian, I believe. Or well, Christian, I think it's the only other hauler. Barrel isn't a haul. And Christian can't walk. You know, it's tempting just to put Christian out of his misery and then see if the game can give us an extra character to work with. That's what I wouldn't mind trying. Okay, cool. So Fu's going to grab some meat. How much meat did you carry? You carried 38 at a time. It's not much, but I guess it's something. Let's take a look at our stocks now. So we have 80 sandstone blocks. That is enough to make a single sandstone door because it's 75 blocks from memory. Excellent. So hopefully Beryl will make it through. You're about to break. You've been about to break for a while. Now I wonder if I can tell you to stop doing it or get you to rest. No, you will get food soon. So maybe I'll just wait for you to snap. Actually, why not? I, I won't wait for you to snap. I'll get you to do something more useful. Like working on this turret for one. If you make it there in time. For intensifiers, yeah. So these doors and walls all need to be done ASAP, so you are stressed. Bad luck, Fu. Build the wall, build the door, build some of the doors, reset the traps, and attack while Beryl isn't going psychic. Psy um, mental. So, Fu, just stop what you're doing. Well, how much did you get done? You did 24 work out of 42, so, yeah, getting, well, about halfway. Would have liked it if you made it the full way, but uh, that's my fault, I guess. Now, one of the things that you mentioned earlier is if we exhume one of these bodies and then put them inside the grave, it will, it will what, give them a positive modifier. I can't recall how much, so when Fu wakes up from her sleep, which you've got, um, you're getting it. Let's see what's happening. Starvation, Christian Beryl. Well, Beryl is still psychotic, so it looks like um, Christian, well, it looks like Beryl will probably just collapse first, if anything. Now, Christian. You are... yeah. You're about to break. Well, you, it's not exactly like you can do much, unfortunately. Starving, friend died, had a peril. You know what? Do you have a pair of pants? Oh my god, you have a pair of pants. Can I get you to drop the pants? Drop the pants, please. Oh, okay. How about this? I'll tell some, some, uh, someone to come by and strip you. Means we have a pair of pants and we can give it to Beryl. Because Beryl needs a pair of pants. So, yeah. If you're going to break, you're going to break, Christian, but we need your pants. Prioritize hauling it. Excellent. Can't believe you stole those pants from us. Uh, also, can you rescue? Yeah. Just put some back in bed. And we stopped getting that warning as well. Well, strain intensifiers, mental break, and we have more friendlies. Oh my god, we are incredibly lucky. I don't recall ever having it twice. So, only two friendlies. It's not many. And you... Oh no. This isn't what we need. Beryl is going to attack the friendlies. Let's see what happens. Um, so they make it to the base, and yep, so they're beating up, um, Beryl. Oh. How badly you hurt? Okay, so cuts, shivs, this isn't going well. This isn't exactly what I want you guys to do, okay? Yeah, well, I'm forbid these grenades, so I do want to keep them. And you're relaxing socially? Well, you do need that. But I also need you to rescue Beryl, because they can't afford a loser. Now, what are you guys doing? How badly you hurt as well? That's one thing I need to check. Health. Only bruises, and only bruises. So now you're going to attack these guys, and you're going to die very fast. And there's your other guys. I'm surprised you're not on that. <laughs> That's interesting. These centipedes can't fire and un un everything they lead. Here's 
may actually turn out well. We might be able to at least get this centipede down, especially with this guy shooting the other one in the back. Okay, so they're fleeing now. Never mind. This one did take a fairly large amount of damage, which is useful. If we're lucky, maybe we can get some more friendlies coming our way. Hopefully. Oh, wow. So only one of the friendlies that we've had come past have actually managed to survive these attacks. These guys are seriously not friendly. There's only so much we can do as well, which is the other, 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 other bad things. So, okay. So he's going to hobble along, taking a barrel back inside, and you got food poisoning. Ah, oh. and the timing as well. But at least you made it too bad, and then threw up and made the interior look much uglier. Let's take a look. We have one meal and we have 38 meat. Now, after you treat Beryl, who's got some pretty bad bones, hopefully you'll get through it. It does look like it's, you're going to get through it with it. Okay. Any good patches? Come on, Fu. You can be a better doctor. And... Does it look like this? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I'll let you be. Fu's in a poor mood, yep. Yeah. But Beryl, you can have some pants, and you can have a, a um, nice shirt. Can you be happy about that? <sighs> okay. It does mean cooking. Now, someone should have the meat inside. Where's the meat? It is over here. It is frozen and it won't spoil. Excellent. So, Beryl, you are just... Yeah, so you we need to wait around until you get patched up. You are starving as well. So, food. Don't sleep on us. Cook some food. People need it. That should help at least with some of um, Beryl's moodlets. Okay, and you are walking around, you are. And we have an infection. Ah, Beryl. And we got some cargo pods. Well, this game is being awfully nice, but cargo pods and food isn't what we need. What we need is more people. Christian's useless. Okay, so Beryl, you're still standing around, you are. Gonna eat that meal. You have got the infection, so I should probably tell you to rest in bed. But I'm not going to for the moment. Where about Sofu? Ah, because I marked some of this meat to be hauled. Right, I get you. Well, and foo has gone and had a mental break. Right. So Beryl is still standing up, but uh, also about to break. Things are looking, well, great. We don't have enough people to attack them. Beryl, do you still have the grenades? You don't. You are going to go into your room, which may actually... Wait a second. I'm getting my names mixed around for a second. For some reason, I was thinking Beryl was the one that was going berserk. But no, it's full out there. So I'll get um, give Beryl the grenades again, if I can find them. That's the EMP grenades up top. And how about in this section? I see a shotgun, which I don't want to use... So, whereabouts are the grenades? If I've lost them, I'm going to be incredibly annoyed. Because that was the only thing I could think of, of getting rid of that psychic ship. Because I haven't had any luck with anything else. Well, that I've tried so far. <sighs> okay, let's see. Yeah, it's not there. So it must be somewhere, maybe where... Uh, Beryl went... Uh, on her last um, days. But where would that be? Uh, here it is. I found them. Okay, well, you can't pick them up, Bill. And it does mean that Fu will have to, well, we'll have to wait around until Fu snaps out of it, unfortunately. Psychic shock, sure. People have gone mad. Yep, I get you. Need to just hold out for a little bit longer. We can deal with it. Well, at least I think you can deal with it. Just gotta hang on. Yeah, the, the minus 25, there's just nothing we can do. I really hope this is not the end of the colony. We've managed to push so far. Okay. Foo, you, you've snapped out of it. Cool. I need you to build this door. I need you to reset the traps. I need you to build the bottom door. And then when Beryl... Well, actually... Beryl has a major unintreated infection, 33%. Beryl won't make it. Um, 
should probably get food at least um, prioritize giving Beryl some medicine. It's probably the best thing. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I don't think Beryl will make it through, but um, I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, you are treating Beryl, right? We, we do have medicine, come on. So it's been treated, I don't know how. Maybe a bucket of cold water. Yeah, okay, so I thought we had medicine, but maybe it's all already been used up patching um, Beryl up when she had her, uh, well, rage, fit of rage. So, okay, here's another person. 54 years old, and they're being hunted down by the Red Owners. Do I want to get them? Hmm, you're a Glitter World empath, which... Glitter World, I know from medicine, so maybe that means you can do some doctoring. But does that mean you can attack? You are empathic, does that mean that you won't be able to fight? Huh, I'm gonna have to ignore this one. Ah. Uh, yeah, because none of our defences are up enough to actually, um... Yeah, unfortunately, defences aren't enough to even stop a pirate raid. If we had maybe one turret, I would have considered it, but we don't. Okay, exhaustion, foo. Why are you exhausted? Because we don't have any meat. We don't have any food. Um, that's not good. I was sure I told you to prioritise hauling some of this meat inside. Okay, well, haul the meat inside, and then barrel. You have been treated, so... And you can't haul. Of course you can't haul, barrel. And you're about to snap again, so what about this? Equip the grenades, we're going to get you to go down, we're just going to keep on attacking them, and we're going to let you die. Or we're going to get you to rescue Fu. Can I get you to rescue Fu? Don't want you to arrest. Oh, I don't know if I can rescue Fu. Beryl, what are you doing? You going to go and pray where? You're going to go and pray in your room. Okay. Well, how about this? Rescue Foo. Why can't I click on you? Ah, oh, this isn't going to go well. Um, oh no, so you have got enough food. You just clapped because you're exhausted because of no sleep. Okay, that's fine. Sort of. Not really. Could be worse. But I'll let you pray. I might see if I can get a positive mood, le mood buff by um, getting someone shifted. Shifted, uh into the um, bedroom. Well, things aren't going well. So, I think it's probably best if we leave it here for this episode. I don't know how much longer I can keep dragging this colony on for. It's just these two ships and barely any colonists surviving and you know our defences down again. She's kind of getting old if you ask me. There's only so much I think I can do. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you do have any suggestions, I'd gladly take them. But I don't think I have many options left to me right now. So, anything to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you about in the uh, next video.